Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 8. And the word of God reads this way. Better is a little with righteousness than vast revenues without justice. What this particular proverb is telling us is that there is a serious contrast to those that have material gain but have a moral standard that is so low and so bad as opposed to someone who doesn't have that gain and has a moral standard that is rooted in righteousness. That's why it says better. It tells you right off the bat, the very first part of this verse, better is a little. So you may have little. You may have little financially. You may have, uh, you may have little when it comes to your status in life. Uh, you may have little with materials uh, as it pertains to material blessings. You may have little, but it says better if you have that little with righteousness. And that righteousness is really talking about the righteousness of God. If you have next to nothing or little, but you have God's righteousness, particularly as a Christian, you have his imputed righteousness, it is much better then the second part of this verse, the contrast, then vast revenues. Now notice that. If you have vast revenues, it's talking about someone who has abundant material blessings. They may have a lot of money. They may have a lot of property. Uh, they may have status that's you know, higher than you would normally have. It could be somebody that is a rich athlete, an actor or actress that made a lot of money. A businessman who has billions or perhaps millions. We're talking about people that have a lot. They have a lot going on from the world's perspective. But notice it's better that you have a little with righteousness than vast revenues without justice. Now the word justice there could also be translated right or righteousness as well. So justice and righteousness is synonymous in this verse. We're not going to have right justice unless we have the righteousness of God. Dear Christian, this is something we have to remember. It doesn't mean if you have a lot of material blessings and you have a lot of money and God has blessed you with wealth, that, that necessarily means that you don't have righteousness. But nine times out of ten in the world, the more money that you have and the more possessions you have, normally the more conceited and narcissistic you can be. And you know what? This is going to blur the lines when it comes to doing the right thing because sometimes people can get possessions and money by not having the right scruples without having the right moral values. And this verse is telling you it's better if you have a little and you're righteous to, to have a, a lot and then you have no justice. And we see that a lot going on in the world today, where the people that are the social elites have no semblance of righteousness or justice. So this is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 8. I just want to do a quick look to remind you, Christian, that this is really a reminder to you that, yes, God can bless you with abundance. But, you know, if God does not bless you with abundance and you have a little, but you have the imputed righteousness of God, it is better than having all the riches, everything that can put a yoke around you. Because sometimes having a lot isn't all it's cracked up to be. Now, I'm not saying you got to walk around homeless and, you know, with no clothes and no transportation. I'm not talking about, you know, not having the necessary needs of the day. But don't ever compare yourself to somebody that has a lot and think that because they have a lot, they have a better life because they may be completely unrighteous, but you have the righteousness of God and you're going to live in a righteous and just manner because of it, no matter how much you have. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, remember, we want to walk in the righteousness of God. Yes, you can have stuff.
Yes, you can earn a lot of money. Yes, you can have a lot of possessions. But if your righteousness goes out the window because of all of those things, you want to be careful because it can corrupt you. But if you have a little, be content with what you have because you have the righteousness of God and you're living correctly. And you know what? God will take care of your needs. And it's better if you have a little with that righteousness than tons of money and you have injustice and unrighteousness in your heart. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And thank you for listening. And thank you so much for watching. And God bless.